The sun climbs high into the noonday sky during another scorching summer day in the Central Valley. But as the temperature rises, so does the nation's first high-speed rail system. The heat, but a small price to pay for the more than 2,000 workers who are part of this historic project. I'll be able to tell my uh, grandkids and everything that I had a part of this. High-speed rail has just entered its third year of construction, and a drive down State Route 99 from Madera to Fresno provides plenty of evidence that this project is indeed happening. The San Joaquin River Viaduct and the Pergola are already serving as an unmistakable gateway into Fresno. From the ground, the massive pergola structure appears to be nearing completion. The work continues to finish the pergola deck. Meantime, much of the work has shifted north to the viaduct, which will eventually cross the river. If the San Joaquin Viaduct is the northern gateway to Fresno, the Cedar Viaduct is the southern. Standing more than three stories above the ground, the Cedar Viaduct gives you a feeling of looking toward the future of high-speed rail. The construction of this viaduct has moved south to Highway 99. Rebar columns are taking shape along the shoulders and night work taking place along the medium as the work there focuses on crossing above the highway. Along State Route 180, work focuses on going underneath it. Excavation and preparation mark the work at the Fresno Trench. Crews still have about 20 feet to go before construction of the concrete box can begin below the highway. Six grade separations are underway within Construction Package 1, Road 27, Avenues 7, 8, 11, 12, and 15. All are in Madera County, and American Avenue is south of Fresno. These projects will ensure that cars and high-speed trains don't cross paths and in many cases are eliminating current at-grade crossings. Perhaps the biggest development in 2018 is that the work is no longer contained to just Construction Package 1. Construction Package 2-3 stretches 60 miles from the end of CP1 to just north of the Tulare Kern County line. With more than 36 grade separation projects within the site, design builder Dragato's Flatiron has constructed its own precast facility to meet its girder and concrete slab requirements. We are going to be building uh, around uh, 1,300 uh, different type of beams, plus uh, almost half a million square feet of uh, precast slabs. Good timing as work is underway at several grade separation locations, including Kent and Kansas Avenues. In March, construction began in Construction Package 4, a 22-mile stretch from the Tulare Kern County line to just north of Bakersfield. Currently, work is underway on a grade separation project at Pond Road in Kern County, with crews drilling and constructing columns. 2018 has seen high-speed rail construction continue to ramp up across the Central Valley, even as the dog days of summer bear down. <laughs>